Okay. No, Ishii. All right, now, I really think... It seems fairly clear from this game that it was designed to be two play have two-player co-op. Because there's basically no point in this game where you do not have a companion. Mm -hmm. huh. In fact, the game game really se the game really seems to go out of its way to make sure that you've al always got someone with you, whether it's Ishi or that other guy or other characters we'll meet later. It really seems like it was made around co-op, and then for some reason that was taken out. <laughs> you described the rich uh, not... rich tapestry of characters of Bulletstorm, Ishi and not Ishi. <laughs> Well, no, it's, I don't, it's spoilers who some of the others are. Well, well, you don't even remember the other dude's name. No, no. Well, know, it's uh, the one who's not, the one who's not, not a doctor. Redneck Space Cowboy 1 and Redneck Space Cowboy 2 and... Not Jim Rayner. Not Tyga Svindley. Not Jim Rayner. <laughs> Down he goes. Ishi. I love Ishii. Hmm. In both of Ishii Classic and Mecha Ishii. Just cause... Just cause... Ishii. It, it, it's nice having someone who does not, like, who is just so intolerant of of grace... of grace bullshit. <laughs> Rocks, arr. I think straight men are underutilized in, uh... in comedy games. Cause it, yeah. everybody's yeah. like, you have to be super off the wall. Yeah, it's because they recognize the need totally to have. Crazy. They recognize the need to have a relatively, you know, reasonable. They need to have an actual reasonable person in this game because everyone else is a fucking nut job. Mm. And, okay, now this is uh, uploading skill shot database. The Confederation will recognize impressive kills as skill shots. To view all possible skill shots, press now to access the skill shot database. This is um, like a. This is like sort of the big mechanic of the game. No, it's point based. These skill shots. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, the, like various ways you can kill guys. Kill an enemy by kicking him against a surface. Flinging him. Kill an enemy by flinging him into a cactus. Flinging him into a sharp metal object. Kill an enemy who's on fire. Kill one or more enemies using an environmental explosive. And these are. And there's some, some that aren't available yet because they're like appear in later levels. Interesting. Then there's, uh, in addition to the. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I just said interesting. And then in addition to the, like, general ones, there's, like, weapon-specific ones. Like, for the carbine, kick an enemy and shoot him to death midair. Kill an enemy by shooting him in the ass. Th that's the game's words, not mine. Shoot an enemy in the balls and kick or shoot his head off. Okay. Again, game's words, not mine. <sighs> shoot a running enemy in the legs to trip him, then finish him on the ground. Interesting. Okay, so, and then so what are the every what what are the points for? What's that? What are the points for? The points are for an up. The oh, you can for an upgrade system. You can, you can buy uh, upgrades and ammunition. Oh, okay, cool. Although although the only things you can really upgrade is how much ammunition you carry. Although the ammunition is there's both regular ammo and then there's like special. Each each weapon has an alternate fire mode that uses uh it's a, like as a separate ammo supply that's more powerful. Yeah. Okay. So now it you can you can turn that off. By the way, you don't have, if you don't want that text to. I like having it though. Satisfying. Huh. And um, execute chill skill shots to earn skip points. They can be spent in drop kits to buy weapons, ammo, and upgrades. Look at this. And there also is, at some point, a very, like, razor-thin plot explanation for this whole system that gets explained later. Oh, okay. Not, not, not that anyone cares. If you buy ammo, upgrade capacity. As always, I feel obliged to point out that clip is incorrect and that they, they should be called magazines. Never mind, but that, that's my hang-up. I'm going to do that in every single Let's Play ever. Because <laughs> every game ever made makes that mistake. And it drives me insane. Ooh, well, video ooh. games make you a gun expert, obviously. 
God help any game I run into that calls a Gatling gun a chain gun. Oh, nice. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is a very... As one of you put it earlier, very visceral game. <laughs> and then there's look, and then there's human viscera splattering all over the place at all times. Yeah, you know, at least these guys have like the full decency to, you know, give a nice full blooded scream as they die. Yeah, they, 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 they put, they put their, they put all their gusto into it. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Yoink! This is fun! You pulled him to you just now, to kick um, him away. Well, well, yeah, because the thing is, generally, you always want to be doing skill shots if you can. And and an easy one to do is to just, you know, yank a guy towards you and then kick him in midair so you get the bullet kick. Hmm. I mean, that's like, that's sort of a basic one. You're always just pushing people away, John. <laughs> it, it's, a metaf it's a metaphor for, Gra for Gray's whole personality, really. He draws people in, but then shoves them away. It's a metaphor for Cliffy B's numerous relationships. <laughs> <laughs> this was his most personal game, yeah. I wanted the gameplay metaphor for how I treat people. <laughs> Pull them towards me, and then I push them away when they get too close. And then, I don't know, they, they explode or something. <laughs> Honestly, the metaphor was kind of lost when I made a game. <laughs> Alright. Also, Full Throttle is a, is a skill shot if you kill um, two, more than one guy without releasing the trigger. You can, do, you can do that with the carbine, although you can do it much more easily later on with the uh, uh, Gatling gun. Hmm. Which is not really like a regular weapon that you carry. It's like a, it's like a weapon you can... It's like one of those weapons where it's not it doesn't become part of your inventory, it's just you can pick it up and drop it, and it's like you know, like situational. So this uh energy whip, can you swing with it? Uh sadly no. Damn. No, you can't like Indiana Jones or it around or anything. If only the, if, this, if, if this game had done well enough for a sequel, perhaps there would have been, but sadly. It's very stylistic. Now, Borderlands had already come out at this point, yeah. right? Yeah, at least um, the first one had. Yeah, actually, it did. I see a lot of the aesthetic. Although they don't really have that... I mean, yeah, well, they, they have sort of the desert setting in common. Although you don't spend the whole, this whole game in the desert. Didn't see Papa Shango just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope people remember that I'm super into wrestling and I'm not being just casually racist. <laughs> well, like seven, how dare yous immediately pop up on on the comment section. Why does Nick think all black people look like Papa Shango? <laughs> will reward you with skill points for quick reactions to critical events. Prefer to hold L1 to view one now. Yeah, sometimes it's just, you know, the, you know, point of interest prompt, basically. Man, this is really not a good direct deposit banking system. <laughs> I mean, it's very good yeah. in that well, the it's depositing money immediately, and also really bad in that it doesn't seem to discriminate. Well, the other issue is that you think a, a skill point based currency would be very prone to inflation? Just like whenever there's a stylish gunfight, suddenly the money supply just expands. Yeah. It's such a weird thing to reward, too, because, like, what. There's. Talk about objective value. <laughs> Yeah, because there is a very thin, like, explanation slash justification for the skill shot thing being being what you use to get more... 
supplies and whatever, but it's... Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'll that happen to you. Huh. But it's, it's it's pretty thin, and I mean, obviously, it's not like... Not like I care. The war economy. The war economy. Quite literally a war economy. Let's see here. Oh, are you talking about the, um... Dreaded war economy of, um... Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. ID, ID tag so... cyborgs. <laughs> ID tag giant wheel things. Nano machines. Oh man, is that that thing from, um... Prometheus? Pirate uranium mining. You wouldn't steal the uranium mine. <laughs> you wouldn't download. <laughs> you wouldn't. Da you wouldn't download a nuclear pile. You wouldn't refine uranium. You wouldn't steal a DVD. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, oh, we can unlock the charge. Or we could if I had enough points for it. But... We'll, we'll get to see the charge shot soon enough. And... Eh. <laughs> Just imagine Gray making that noise. Whoa. Water slide. Down the water slide. Whee! I had to save my dying friend! Woo! Oh! The man really sinks and yes, I, that was that was a stream of urine. <laughs> Very yellow, too. He needs more water. He needs to drink more water. Dehydrated. Nice. Hmm. It's really lucky that these people use the same gun you do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe maybe this the Peacemaker carbine. It's like it's like the AK forty seven of this of the galaxy. It's just ubiquitous. <laughs> yeah. Turns out you're just using a Saturday Night Special of future firearms. <laughs> maybe it's got Deus Ex Invisible War Universal Ammo. <laughs> God, I hated that. Maybe it's got well, that's great, Mass Effect that Universal like... Ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna be running into these things uh, in action later. Just no means to give chase. I like the way your new brain thinks. But for now, oh, I didn't even shoot that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually wasting ammo here because you can leash them and like tear them down. Locals seem none too excited about your plan. Kill them all. Uh oh. <laughs> Nearly out of power. Talking in sentence fragments. <laughs> Conserves energy. <laughs> Re yep. Well, you know, it, ha it has to prioritize. <laughs> he conserves energy by removing punctuation marks. <laughs> it's just like Twitter. sound a human liver makes when it explodes. Yeah, you know what they say, you shit right before you die. It's the unglamorous part <laughs> of dying. See, you know, that's what Dom's death really missed. <laughs> In, the uh, feces? Yeah. Okay, now here these these, these flying guys. You grab with the leash, and then if you uh, if you, you can yank them to their doom like that, <laughs> but you have to time it right. But it can be satisfying if you, when you. There pull needed it off. to be like a small window to see Dom's corpse, and then just him just unceremoniously oh. like pooping himself. <laughs> oh. 